Hey guys, JT here with a quick after runs first thought on the Creighton. This is the 2018 version. And I gotta say, this thing is a beast. Um, when I took it out and I was gonna run it for the first time, I was thinking, ah, it's just gonna be like a Talon with bigger tires and wheels, but it's actually not. It performs way different than a Talon would and stuff. Even though the chassis is gonna be somewhat of the same length, um, this thing is gonna be a lot wider. And it's a little bit heavier than a Talon, of course, because of the tires and wheels. But it's not going to be as heavy as something like the Nero. So I was expecting it that when I did some jumps and stuff with it, it might have landed hard and stuff. But it didn't. It actually landed very good. So Armour's got a really good setup for the suspension and stuff out the box. And the tires and wheels that they have on this thing as well um, help it as far as when you're jumping and going through tall grass and stuff like that. You guys saw when I was... Running this through grass stuff, it just glided over top of it. Uh, for me, I don't have a need to go any faster. Um, I may put the 14 in there, but then again, I may not because to me, how this thing is set up out the box was fine on 6S. Um, if I went to 4S, I'd probably run the 14 tooth in there just because I'd want a little bit more top end with that. But running this on 6S was just fine. I can't wait to get these 50 C's in here to see how they perform um, in this truck as well so um, all in all guys I, I'd have to say I am impressed I'm, I'm not even gonna lie I was like I said I was thinking oh it's gonna run like Metallin or uh, somewhat like this and that but the way Arma has designed their cars they've got about five eight scale cars um, out and as far as it's designed on this platform but they're totally different you can't say I'm gonna buy a Creighton and a Creighton's going to run like a Talon. Or you can't buy, you know, um, an Outcast that's going to run like a Creighton or, and run like this Creighton because they're all different. The Outcast is going to be a lot shorter of a chassis. And the wheelbase is going to be long as well. But it's kind of a stunt truck because you guys know I have my Outcast. And they just all perform different. So if you're looking in the market, I'm going to go ahead and put this out. If you're looking in the market, you guys are going to ask me a lot of questions on Facebook. Um, for which car to get is just going to be based on your preference with that. Um, you know, they do have a four-wheel drive buggy. You know, they do have a short course truck. Um, and then they have a monster truck. Um, this is going to be what I'm calling, and I heard people say it before, a muggy, which is a monster truggy, a monster truck truggy. Um, and then they got a monster truck, which is going to be outcast, and they also have a truggy too. So you got a pretty good selection of cars that are built on this particular platform get this body off real quick that are built on this platform that perform really well um they've updated all of their cars now um so they've all been updated so they're all gonna have uh some of the beefier parts that you see um and some of the updates that are on some of the cars like this battery tray and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a quick comparison because i do have my talon here as well so just a quick comparison with the two. You guys see that the Creighton is sitting higher than the Talon, of course. And of course, it's got bigger tires and wheels. It's going to be hard to get both of these, these monsters into one frame, but we'll do the best we can, see? So there we go there. Uh, this body's a little crooked. <laughs> um, so there we go there. You guys see that the Creighton is a little bit... It actually is. I didn't think it would be. It is a little bit longer um, than the Talon. Of course, it's going to almost be about the same width, but with these tires, it does make it wider. So this is going to be longer as well. And this is going to weigh a little bit more. Um, what is included for the speed gear here is actually the stock gear here. So this has a 14 tooth pinion gear in it. This has a 12 tooth for the speed gear is 14. Um, and I've seen guys on YouTube make this into a speed truck. So if you want it to go faster, you can do that. It'll handle it. Trust me. Um, you might want to watch your temperatures if you start getting up to 18, 22 pinion gear for this uh, Creighton here. But if you guys want a speed car, um, you can go ahead and buy the buggy version as well. Because I've seen guys do 100 mile per hour speed runs with that um, as well. So just taking the tops off of these two, you'll see you know differences there as well. You'll see that the shock tower on the Creighton is a lot bigger. You'll see that the wing designs are a lot different as well. The Creighton has a bigger, larger wing design, and you see how big and huge those shock towers are. You'll see that for the front and also for the rear there 
for those two. A-arms, they're basically going to be the same, but the Creighton has like a small extension, I believe, up in here. I have to take that apart and see. But for the most part, they're going to be almost the same width. With these tires, it does make it a little bit wider, but you see the Creighton does sit up higher as well. Um, electronics, you guys kind of see how those are up in there. Electronics are going to be the same, but they do perform differently. Um, you see how this servo is actually placed um, lengthwise, and this is more of a widthwise. So there are small differences between the two. You see this has these high dirt guards that they added up in here to keep dirt and grime from just getting all up in your electronics and stuff. And it also has this top piece here. So if you're flipping it, you're not crushing your body and stuff a lot because this does weigh a lot more um, than, of course, the Talon does. So that's just uh, the side-by-side -side comparisons for this. Um, guys, this thing, like I said, I'm impressed with it. I can't wait to get it to the park in the next couple of days. Um, and run it there as well and I'm gonna take it to a couple other places and run it and shoot a lot of video of this So you guys stay tuned for some more running videos of this bad boy and and some comparing videos. I'm gonna run it against a couple other trucks as well um, As the weeks and months pass by so as always guys don't forget to like and or dislike because Some of you guys do dislike I do got a couple people that dislike videos, which is fine um, and subscribe if you have not and put your comments below and as always stay tuned for more videos and I appreciate you guys watching.